Many years ago, I was the curator of an exhibit at the Chicago Historical Society, a wonderful institution, uh, about the Civil War era. And working on a museum exhibit is a lot different than writing a book or giving a lecture. Um, and they said, you know, you have a, you write these wall labels, you know. So they said, okay, you write a wall label here on slavery. I said, oh, well, how long can it be? They said, 150 words maximum. So I, I had 150 words to try to describe the history and institutional nature of slavery. That was not easy. Now we have a whole lecture today, so I'm going to try to give you the entire history of slavery in one lecture, which is also not easy. On our reading list, we have David Bryan Davis's Inhuman Bondage, which is about as good a summary of the historical development of slavery as you're likely to find. So uh, that's well worth reading. And just to reiterate one more time, it's very important to do the readings each week because the discussion sections will <laughs> discuss the readings. So what is slavery anyway? Uh, the word slavery is used and abused in many, many ways and times. Um, inequality is not slavery. Exploitation is not slavery. I, and others, I believe we should be fairly precise. Um, the American revolutionaries before, the, before independence claimed that British taxation, taxation without representation, was reducing them to slavery. Obviously, this was a metaphor. They weren't really being reduced to slavery. But slavery is a kind of all-purpose metaphor for oppression, inequality. Um, I've heard people say on TV, maybe that's not the best place to find this, uh, stop and frisk is sort of like slavery, you know? No, it isn't. It may not be a good thing, but it is not like slavery, believe me. Um, Orlando Patterson, the... Um, a sociologist at Harvard wrote a book years ago about slavery in which he identified like 200 different systems of slavery in world history. And they, were, they differed in enormous ways. But what did they have in common? They had in common what he called social death. Social death. That, or another way of putting it, the reduction of a person to property. Reduction of a person to property. That is, they can be bought and sold. They, have, they essentially have no rights. Social death, they are not part of the society they are living in. That doesn't mean they're unequal. Being part of the society doesn't mean that you are treated equally. In every society, people are treated unequally. But slavery is a specific form of that, where people are reduced to chattel property. Now, sad to say, slavery has existed as far back as you go in human history, you can find slavery. That's a sad commentary on our species. Um, and it exists today in various places. In fact, a couple of years ago, a bus pulled up on Amsterdam Avenue here called the Florida Modern Day Slavery Museum. And I, this is their brochure. Where it was a bus which was an exhibition, a traveling exhibition about slavery in Florida today, or two years ago. There have been a whole series of cases that coming out of Florida. I don't mean to single out one state, but they seem to be a little out of date down there. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, a whole series of cases of f farms holding mostly migrant workers, illegal immigrants, literally as slaves. They could not leave. They had to work. They were not paid. Um, and um, people have been put in jail for this. So. It may not be quite the same as slavery from before the Civil War, and there is slavery in other parts of the world today also, apparently. And slavery per existed in the Roman Empire, as you all know, in, Gre in ancient Greece, in Rome. It persisted after the, into the Middle Ages in the Mediterranean. It died out in Northern Europe, in England, etc. but it persisted all through the Middle Ages in the Mediterranean world, in the 14th century, there was an active slave trade in the Mediterranean um, of people brought northward from Africa below the Sahara, and also people from Eastern Europe. Um, Italian merchants were selling Slavs, Serbs, Croats into slavery in Spain, Portugal. Um, in fact, the word, the etymologically, the word slave in English comes from Slav, because all these Slavic people were being held as slaves. This is in the 1300s, etc. Um, 
In other words, in, in, in general, the idea that freedom is an inherent right of every person is a relatively new notion in human history. For most of history, slavery was an accepted part of life. It was one example of social hierarchy in societies which were full of social hierarchy. And social hierarchy was seen as necessary for social order. And slavery was maybe the most extreme version, but it was by no means the only one. Now, as I said, Davis on our reading list gives a good you know, history of this, but the main point is that from the very beginning of European discovery and exploration and settlement and conquest of the New World, slavery was here. Columbus brought back a few Native Americans, Indians from the Caribbean, on his first voyage, 1492. He came here and he brought a few Indians back with him to be slaves in Spain. And by 1502, 10 years later, Africans were being transported to Hispaniola, where we met the Dominican Republic and Haiti, that island, uh, the first place the Spanish set up a colonial settlement in the New World. But even more deeply, as Davis shows, without slavery, the development of the New World would have been impossible. Modern capitalism, the money that went into the Industrial Revolution, the settlement of the Western Hemisphere, all those things depended on slavery in a large measure. Um, the slave trade was a gigantic part of world commerce in the 17th, 18th, 19th centuries. To show you the centrality of slavery, from uh, 1500 to about, let's say, 1820, it's estimated about 12 and a half million people crossed the Atlantic from east to west. 12 and a half million people over three centuries. Of those 12 and a half million people, about 10 million were slaves. Two and a half million were Europeans. So the number of slaves brought over vastly outnumbered the uh, uh, sort of free migrants. 